the Montana Veterans Memorial will be hosting an open house this Saturday. So if you've never visited the Montana Veterans Memorial, this would be a great day to learn about the history and how to locate a veteran's name on the wall. Open house is, is the first time we've ever done this. It's the, um, the idea of our president, Star Darko. Uh, we're inviting people to come up and view the, the memorial, uh, the improvements we've made over the last 20 years. We have the new Space Force emblem at our emblem wall. Um, and this whole site that we're looking at right here is very, very historic. This exact spot of the memorial has a very long history. From Lewis and Clark overlooking the falls to General Pershing's bivouac site, the history goes on and on. Going back into the late 1800s, early 1900s, where there was a rodeo grounds here, the Fort Shaw women's basketball team played Great Falls High right here on the spot. Lewis and Clark meandered around this area uh, looking over at the falls and looking over at uh, the Black Eagle Island and that's how Black Eagle became Black Eagle and this park was originally Black Eagle Park and John Pershing when he was a, a lieutenant uh, stationed up at Fort Assiniboine, Assiniboine uh, bivouacked right here for a week or so. So it's just a very interesting place and we'd like to make sure that the history is, is kept so that we and preserved so that it isn't going to fall down in history and be lost. Very important to me, uh, very emotional. Uh, the tiles are uh, very emotional to the, um, to the people who have donated for them. Uh, frequently, we'll see people here just touching their tile. And each tile has a very own, its own very own history. Uh, people who have, every one of us have served in the military uh, and it's a, it's a uh, living memorial. So you don't have to be deceased, nor do you have to be from Montana. You have to be a veteran with a honorable discharge. So come learn about the Montana Veterans Memorial. And remember, those who have served and those still serving today. Here in Great Falls, I'm Paul Sanchez for MTN News.